God didn't say let there be light and there was light. God doesn't think. God just is. God is math. God is us. God is you. God is me. I am not a God. Kanye is not a God in the way he thinks it. He feels it. And that which he feels is truth. And he has spoken truth that which society at a time was not ready to hear. And I'm going back again because I still like what I'm talking about. Um, and the card's right there. I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to fucking go on another path. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and that which he feels is true. And that which he has spoken is true in ways. And Kanye is an amazing human. And I, if I feel for him because I feel him. And I know it from experience. And seeing Kanye makes me happy. What I thought I was going to say there was, and a butterfly just flew over my head. Damn, look at this shit. Like, I'm going to take some pictures of this when I walk back, but it's cool, you know? Uh, what I thought I was going to say was seeing Kanye happy makes me happy. Because when I... You know, I saw, I think on TikTok or something, a recent video, what was it? It was a video of him and uh, the mother of his child and his child. And he said, what did he say? He said something so innocent and so happily to his child in a way that which was like, he gen and I've seen him say this, of like, he wants his kids to levitate. We can levitate, levitate, levitate. Mm. <laughs> Love gonna get you high like this, no. You know, you guys should listen to Kendrick more. Uh, if you don't, and it's because you're like, he's vulgar, he cutsies, he says then word, he says fuck this bitch, and he says this, he says that. To older people in my family that I'm like, you should listen to Kendrick. They listen to Good Kid Mad City and they're like, fuck that shit, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you guys don't realize the truth to which he is speaking. And I feel bad for you because if you, and bad again, bad's a bad word. Why? Because bad is whatever you want it to be for you. I feel sorry for them because they are not seeing light in a way that their life would get better if they accepted Kendrick and accepted Kanye as real humans who speak the truth, who might not always know what they're doing or what they're saying, but they're feeling it and they're expressing that feeling in a way that which the light will be shown on earth as it is in heaven. And glory be to God, whatever you want to call him. The light, but God's beyond the light. Like, what is this light? This is the sun, the sunlight, right? What allows the sun to be shown? God, the man in, in the sky that you guys may or may not feel and have felt your whole life or believed or thought about. God, the man in the sky, thinking, doing, right? He doesn't do that, he just is. He's not, he doesn't give a fuck about you. And, and he does in the sense that he's got your back and when you connect with him, the, it'll feel as though the world has your back. Every animal, every breath, every spirit, sign, synchronicity has got your back because it does when you allow it and you surrender to the fact that you have no control. You, you truly have no control. And like that, you can lose control. And like that, you can regain control. And like that, you can see the light. And it's amazing. And... This is amazing. You are amazing. Your parents are amazing. Even if they don't seem to be amazing at any moment because they're truly, in truth, not being amazing and they're being abusive or annoying or whatever, they were amazing in and of itself. The fact that innate within them is an ability to give light to you. They fucked, and now you are here. They fucked up, and now you are here. And you fucked up, and now you are here. And we don't have to fuck anyone we don't want to. And anyone who forces that on someone, go to hell, truly. We don't have to keep fucking up and sitting in our shit. We truly don't. 
You guys are gonna get annoyed with the amount of times I say truly, but like it's a powerful word because one, a lot of people get hammered off truly's and it's an amazing time. And shout out that time. No, never mind. I'm not going back. Shout out. You know, Drake's got flow too, but uh, there are times in which what we truly feel will not look like what we truly think it looks like at that time. And it's amazing to me because now that I've accepted that in my heart of hearts, it looks like things I never could have imagined, ever. And it's within days, within days, your life can be something you never imagined, just like that, like literally just like that. And it can happen for you just like that or it can never happen to you and you can die sitting in your shit and that's your choice. And for me and my creation here on earth and what I want to imprint on this earth, I hope to God people don't keep sitting in their shit, pick themselves up by the bootstraps, whatever Jordan Peterson or whoever wants to use that term says and fucking do something about it. To genuinely just do something. Stop watching me right now. Literally right now, pause and go fucking drink some water or go breathe for five minutes. And anyone who just did that, you got it in you because you listened and said, yeah, I'm doing that. And fuck them. I'm going to go drink water because, yeah, I do need water. Or, yeah, I do need, or it doesn't have to be water, but water's never a bad option. Unless you're driving and there's a cliff and the water's in front or you're Michael Scott and you listen to our fucking technology too much because the Google map says go in the water and you go in the water and then you're drowning because you listen to what your mind said and not what you felt. Dwight knew. He felt, hey, let's not go right. Even though technology is telling us to do this, even though society is telling me to do this, even though my parents are telling me to do this. I feel in my heart, that's not the right choice. I'm going to go with what I feel. What happens from that is a miracle. It's, it's truly a miracle. And I hope for you all to see your miracle come here on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm trying to bring mine in. And I have. And that's it doesn't matter if anyone sees it or feels it. But I know and I've seen in my daily life people are feeling it. People are feeling me like they always have. I'm feeling people in ways I've never felt, and that's truth, and it's amazing, and it, it makes this feel worth living. It makes this experience worth living to me, and it, and it hasn't for quite some time in a sense of I was lost. I was truly lost, and that shows through addiction or me being a burden on my parents financially or my sister emotionally or whatever people I've been a burden on. I truthfully was a burden, and it pains me deeply and allowing me to feel that pain deeply has allowed me to come here and say this to you. Our pain does not have to become us. Our pain allows us to transform in ways that which only God could have known. And it's incredible. It's, it's truly incredible. Again, with the truly incredible, so annoying and I know how annoying it's gonna sound and I don't give a fuck because it's the truth It's genuinely the truth Shout out AQ Anonymous Inquisitor Whoever you are out there Thank you. I love you And life is gonna be dope and will continue to be dope in ways that which we cannot see now And that's why I'm excited For my future and and what I am here to do Amen.